Wow, wow. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you'll be watching this video from. Actually, just came into the office. Um, it's really one of my daily verses, you know. It's a book called The Spirit Calling. It speaks about peace and endurance. I actually thought I should share a video. Um, share a video speaking about... Because we obviously trying to relate with everybody with what's going on around the world at the moment with the COVID-19. Um, having so much influence in the good and positive ways in people's lives. Um, you know, with the whole level of flood happening in South Africa at the moment. It's just messing things up. You know, a lot of people have been affected. I mean, I know, obviously, the virus is really very dangerous as well, you know. And people are losing their jobs. People people are actually being affected in a terrible ways, you know. I'm, I was on a call a few hours ago and felt like um, a friend of mine was telling me how he just lost his job. And he kind of he really some plans for his family, extended family, and uncles, and you know a few people around him. And this just had me thinking that um, I, I might as well just use my platform to to try and communicate with people and to try and encourage people that it's really not the end and and they shouldn't give up, you know. So um, for me for, to be privileged enough to have a platform like this where I can actually communicate with people that I have not met, people that look up to me, and people that look. Obviously, that go through my page and look for inspiration. I, norm I don't normally actually capitalize on, on that because I, I believe that um, over the past few months, in fact, if not a year, I, I, I had reached a point where I realized it's time that I used the pla this platform for the right purpose, you know. And I'm only on the media to really inspire the next child, precisely the next black child, you know. So that's why I've got platforms like my Telegram channel, which is a free platform. Um, we've re constructing we are reconstructing the ashes monster foundation and there's a whole lot of things that are coming with that soon we'll be on a tour as well you know just waiting for the government to really just be a bit ease on the restrictions so we're able to actually empower and touch the next lives how we want to especially with the COVID 19 having to ruin people's lives financially like this so um i'm, I'm, I'm literally aware of uh, or, or aware of what I, the responsibilities that i have as an individual who loves to touch and change lives and empower other people that you know i'm i'm gonna take the slight on or, or the bit of what i've got and and face my responsibility as a leader and, and somebody who was committed to empowering people over the past few years to say that i'm i'm gonna be able to enlarge my empowerment platform and you know try to connect with as many people as i can because it really it is really something that's close to my heart and um at the end of the day it does need money you know you can't even if you feel sorry for people or you feel like you could help where you want to it needs money and a whole lot of money because i mean for example if i had to go around giving people a thousand rand that's not a lot of money but if i have to give a hundred thousand people a thousand rand each then i have to have a whole lot of money which is money that we don't have you know um i'm also still at a phase in my life that i'm trying to work hard i'm trying to break through i'm trying i'm trying to get rich i'm trying to, to obtain wealth you know I'm letting out a whole lot of obstacles as time goes by. Um, it was actually yesterday where I read a status by Jason Noah, CEO of Forest Kings, where he was he spoke about, I think you guys should go check it out, or I'll post it. I think I, I still have it, I reposted it on my story. And you're speaking about lifestyles and how you shouldn't be influenced by all, um, all the bullshit and, and all the things that uh, are driving our generation into the wrong direction. You know, at the same time, um, that's why I always try my best to, 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 to respect the influence that I've got because I know that there's a lot of people that actually um, look up to me, which is, is not something that I had wanted, you know. It's just, I guess we're all here for a, a certain purpose as individuals. But going back to what I was speaking about, that we've got, we've got, I, I have a really big platform set up, you know, for working hours and hours to, to try to bring you guys something really amazing. And once, once these restrictions are put down, you know, the winter's a bit easy, we've got the spring coming. So I think our early September, you know, mid-September will be looking really nice and, uh, I'll be able to lay out a few things that I've got for people actually who do want to come to the industry and, and you know have that financial freedom at the end of the day, you know. And not to make the video too long, um, one of my messages or one message I want to let everybody you know if you're out there I'm around the world and you're giving up, you feel like you just can't do it anymore, you know. Um, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot that I can show you. There's a lot that I can share with you right now. I hope this video has not become too long. There's a lot that I could share with you right now. And just to encourage you that 
it's really not the end, you know. Uh, when 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 you're working hard and sometimes you feel like you're putting so much work and your efforts are not being recognized or you're not getting to where you wanna be, shooting this whole this is a letter way before way my my answer started way before way before um way before forex, you know, way before I, I, I ever thought I'd be in finance and anything like that. This is a document, I don't know if you can see it from there or from the video. This is a document it says at the top, his destiny, your decision. This was about five years or six years ago, I don't remember. Five years or six years ago, um, it was when I was still playing soccer and I had been recognized for, you know, as an individual that actually got scouted over a game and I played at Nike Center in Soweto and um, I got called up to come and trial in Spain, you know, in Alicante and UD Almeria in Spain. And my family could not finance the deal. Um, the team had, was offering accommodation and a whole lot of stuff, but I just needed to fly overseas and get there you know i was a 16 17 year old and that was a whole different dream that i had i thought five years from now i would be someone on tv or the soccer superstar but life took its turn and just when i thought things was going for the worst um things are actually greater now you know so i never dreamt of being here but i have always had a vision of, of of work of focusing on my goals and working on my life and i don't think anything has entirely changed in my life besides the fact that i'm in a whole different industry but my drive my commitment, how I actually put my my level of commitment on work is still entirely the same. How I focus on my work and, you know, there's nothing much that I just took the whole that whole passion that I had for soccer and the whole drive and I put onto something different, you know. It's not a lot of people that get a change feels like that, you know. So but I'm just saying that don't 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 become too comfortable with what you're doing, you know. If 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 right now you're a teacher and you feel like it's not working out, you you letting you stopping teaching is not it's not you giving up on your future or anything, you know? If, if there's something you could really exercise to give yourself a bright future, then go for it. But if you feel like what you're doing is really what you want to do and what could guarantee your future, then keep going and go harder at it, you know? Don't don't back down, don't let anybody distract you, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And yeah, man, I'm, I just wanted to give a slight story of um, how I've been hustling my way till now and, and I'm not even close to where I want to be. I'm, I'm still at the beginning. I'm still warming up, but I'm, I'm going as fast as I can, you know? So, um, yeah, I actually want to read here. Um, it speaks about, I'll read this document. Uh, it's just a bit here, here and there. It says, um, Ashos Montez is a 17 year old semi professional footballer who, who was in a grade 10 student at Rosafort High School. A footballer who has shown enough potential, shown enough potential and has done his best to his ability, which attracted a lot of teams locally and internationally. Fast forward, you know, it showed that I was actually really committed um, in what I do. You know, but I wanna read on a few things. It says here, I would really appreciate any sort of uh, um, donation towards him to help him achieve his dream or make the next step in his life. Here on this, we gave uh, you write your name, the amount you're donating, deposit or cash, and then the bank details and things like that. And I remember I took a month. I went door knocking door to door, door to door knocking, asking for donation, asking for help. I got two hundred rands, hundred rands, fifty rands. Some gave me coins and. You know, it, it, I, I, when I think of such things, I can never stop. You know, I think you also, if you're watching this forever, you are on the world. You have your own story as well. We all have our own struggles. But this is one of the least of my stories that I speak of. You know, I still have um, the crazy things that I've witnessed in life that whenever I think of giving up, I know that I don't want to go back to where I came from. Uh, right now, I'm in my house. I'm in my office. I'm 23 years of age. Um, I never thought five years from now, when I, back then, six years six years from then i'd ever i'd be i'd have a car i'd have a house of my own then i don't even an office I, I didn't even think i'd afford this phone that i'm recording with right now um the laptops i've got here everything is it's just honestly for me it's, it's 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 a dream come true and i'm not even where i want to be i have not even reached i'm, I'm, I'm still really at the beginning of my journey with what i'm doing but i, I know that god is at work and when god works god operates you know you can never really stop and that's why i always um, kept working always keep working hard I never really ever stop you know I keep going every single time um, every single day is a new chance for me to really just go for my goals and achieve them you know so I want to read this last part here it says if you read here properly it says um, Asherus Asherus Montel's words you know um, and I actually typed this, you know, I actually said it and I think, I think it was actually after getting man of the match, I don't remember, then I, my aunt kind of wrote it down or something, you know, so I said, it says, I can't believe this is happening, 
feels like a dream. To be honest, I didn't expect an offer. But if, to be honest, I did expect an offer, but not this one. You know, something local, something, I don't know, um, but not, not this big, you know. I've been working hard lately and putting in a lot of extra time. The more I kept pushing myself, I started feeling like I was really achieving something. Ever since I started playing football, I always wanted to, I always dreamt of playing for FC Barcelona or being at least an FC Barcelona player for, yeah. So, so at least for me to go and play in Europe or have a chance to play in Europe, was it, it would be a dream come true as a youngster or to even be South African or South African and have a chance to play in Europe in, in any of the big clubs would really make my dream come true. Uh, I set my goals for myself and this is one of them. I'm just really happy I have reached this point where there's a high level of interest on my name. Um, I, I would really appreciate your support in any possible way, whether it be messages, donations, or honestly, anything that you can contribute towards my way into my next target. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, this is this is what we had actually tried to get down in the document to, to try to get people to understand why we actually needed donations, you know. Um, and that was a whole different industry that was. That was a whole different setup that I was in. And when that happened, I had no idea I would ever be in, in finance and stocks and forex and I'd be somebody who, who was, who was communicating with people or even a leader or I'd, I'd never actually empowered anybody before in my life. I was just a, a young boy who played soccer to his utmost best. And like I was just soccer, 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 soccer. I never thought I'd ever stand in front of people and preach, you know, and talk about uh, um, staying with their dreams. So I, I know what it means to hustle. I, I know I know what exactly I'm talking about when I'm saying don't give up on your dreams. I, I still have a lot of challenges to actually go through. I still have a lot of ways to, to a lot of stages of my life of growing to actually experience. But what I can tell you is that till now, what I have learned is that to give up on your dream, to give up on a single percentage of your vision, right, is letting go of, of a future that you may ne never ever live. So you don't want to go through that and um, it, it may be hard, it may be difficult, but if you've got a vision, you've got a dream, you've got goals, don't ever give up, you know, um, that's just my message to you, is that throughout this whole pandemic, hold strong, and keep going. From leadership, I appreciate your time and watching the video, I hope anything I said, or my slight motivation towards you, or to try to communicate with you, has really helped, till this point, and... Yeah, much love. Appreciate your time. Thank you.